chilly out here today, guys. Thanks for clicking the link. Thanks for uh, for joining me today, checking out the video. Uh, what we got for you today is, if you did not see the last video that I did, uh, definitely check it out. I'm making some cool stuff. Uh, doing a series on traps and how to make them. So today, what I have for you is a nice little twitch up snare, and uh, basically has a few components to it. Uh, you got three sticks, okay, steak sticks, your actual trigger mechanism, okay, and then you have rope, cordage, uh, wire, anything you want to use for that or have available to you, okay. So, basically, start with one part of it that is the easiest part to do, okay, it's going to be our actual trigger stick okay you can see i started a little bit on it one more one more round through here make sure it's deep enough all right got that all right yeah using my knife that i got from uh from knife's armory guys you don't know what i'm talking about did uh did that a couple of videos back as well as check out his channel knight's armory um all right got it all all cleared out there okay okay got a trigger system okay basically what this thing does if you're not familiar with it right here in the middle we're going to let's see if i can get a close up of that hopefully i can hopefully you can see it okay we got our I make notches for these guys. Um, it's the best way to go just because you need the grip because you're going to have a live animal in this. So, uh, and as far as setting it up, you might want a thicker, thicker version uh, if you're doing something big. Um, just take in your surroundings and, and decide from there on how you're going to do it. Take the middle. It needs to be as close to the middle as you can get it simply because this is what's going to pull the trigger system up and actually snare the animal okay um, so you want that as evened out as possible as balanced as possible if you're gonna have a live animal down here wiggling uh, so got that and then I always make mine uh, off to my right your left uh, right here uh, just because that's, I'm right-handed and I automatically go that way uh, but a little notches for those Okay, and then we're going to leave this here for now. We're going to do a little bit more work on this in a minute, okay? Uh, stakes, okay? Easy enough to do, guys. Okay, all we're doing, I actually have a couple made up from the last one I did. Actually, I like this side better, okay? All we're doing, let's see if we can get this in here, cutting a groove out making that nice little spot okay to where you're gonna stick it and stick this trap right up in there and while it's pulled up and this is staked down that's gonna stay okay so we have this basically you can see what I'm doing is uh, Carbon, oop, there we go. Just dicing into it right here. Okay, I go in like this, and then I'll go up into it, just like that. Not as pretty as it as it would be if I was using a multi tool or something like that. Um, like I said, I wanted to give this thing a try. Uh, but here's that. Okay, and that's one side. We're gonna zoom through the other side and uh, show you setting everything up and, and getting it all fixed up. All 
All right, guys, there's that side. Um, these are a little bit shallower than what I normally use. Uh, zoom through that pretty quick, basically just because it's, it's more of a time consuming thing. All you're doing is cutting into that and, and leaving that indention right there so that you can hook another piece to it. Okay, see? Hook, but not too hard so that it can fly up. Okay? All right, guys. Sorry about that. Had to run inside. Had to uh, had to grab the girls. Uh, they actually didn't want to come back out with me, so uh, <laughs> they're in there playing. But what we've done, we've taken it, we've cut it out on both sides. Okay. So those are done. Those are our stake pieces. Those are our uh, our anchors. Okay. Uh, what we've done with this, as you can see, the edges are a little bit different. All I did, okay, where it's going to be attached to our anchors, okay, right here. See that? Got it right here. Where it's going to be attached, right here. Okay, going to mark that spot with my finger. I'm going to take it. Drill it down a little bit more anyway than what it was. All right, I'm gonna make it flat instead of the rounded. Just gonna flatten it out. Turn it. That turn, that edge right here is what you want to keep. Turn it 90 degrees one more time. Okay. Do the same. Flatten that out so that you have a nice triangle. Going that way, going that way, comes to a point. This is how I do it, guys. This works best for me. Um, honestly, if you want to put a notch in it to match here, then you can do that. Uh, if you don't even want to mess with the ends and just hook it up, you can do that too. Um, totally up to you, your preference. Uh, this is just what works for me. So I did the same on the other side. The biggest part, if you do do this, is to make sure it's even all the way down. And that way, it's going to hook in exactly where it needs to, okay, on both ends, okay. Now as for the, the noose itself and the trigger rope, we already have this one attached, just in square knot, not going to come off, okay. Put the knot at the top, top end facing up, okay, so that it has all the tension on it that it could possibly have. I'll clear this little extra piece out later. Broke up my knot here. All right, on this other one, I'll do the same thing when attaching it to our uh, trigger, okay? It's our trigger stick. I'm just gonna use a nice little square knot on this too. Um, simply because, hey baby, <laughs> All right, y'all can come out here, but you gotta go get some some shoes on, okay? Guys, we can come out. <laughs> All right, they're they're wanting to come out now, so they'll be out in just a minute. Uh, I'll let them help me out with the rest of it. I'll be coming out. Um. All right, but while they're getting their their stuff on. Uh, basically just doing square knot, left over right, right over left, deal. Um, Alright, tightening that, and instead of it, oh, see, I did the opposite of what I was about to say here. Okay. The line that's going to go to your trigger is up here attached to the trigger stick okay the line that's going to make your noose is going to point in the opposite direction that's just worked for me guys it doesn't have to be that way uh, it seems to work better for me that way um, so I would suggest it try and do this and then they can help me with the last part of it all right uh, 
with the back end making the noose, I just do a little taut line, guys. Uh, two on the inside. Okay, one on the outside. Points for you guys. Uh, keep that in mind. Remember that. Who, uh, what YouTuber did I get that from? Two on the inside, one on the outside. Um, great videos. Love the videos. Uh, very knowledgeable YouTuber. So what you'll have, if you're using rope, you'll have to do it a different way than if you're using wire. Wire is actually the preference. That's that's what I prefer to use. Uh, this was just handier. I'd have to run downstairs and stuff to grab the other one. Um, so, uh, Daddy? we got this, and then, Daddy? yes ma'am. Um, where is my jacket? It's not in the closet. All right, guys, I'm going to go help them get their jackets, and I'll be right back. Here it comes. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, all right, girls, we've got to get out of the camera, okay? All right, let's get you back. All right, they're going to help me for a little bit. But what I was telling you guys is uh, that's on the top. This knot right here is on the bottom. Daddy, can we go get a little trailer? We're going to go set this up and let everybody see it. Okay. Uh, these edges I'll take out, burn off. Um, but a little taut line right here. Let's get that out of the way so y'all can see. I, baby girl, go put the chair back. <laughs> we're going to be we're, we're going to be getting up in just a minute. Okay. Hangs out right here. Okay. And that stakes down into the ground. Okay. All right. That's the setup for it. We'll go. Uh, we'll go set it up for you real quick. Let you see how it works out. Um, I have my little helpers, I guess, uh, here helping me out since they bombed another video. Um, I swear I don't plan it, guys. They just kind of bomb it, and, and I'm wanting to, to get more videos out. So that's what I got. <laughs> but uh, we will all be right back with you. <laughs> 